If you were the world's most successful female sex star, if you had performed in hundreds of hardcore erotic films, but you had finally decided to quit the porno business, what would you do, besides brushing your teeth a lot, of course? Well, Eurotrash traveled to Rome to ask this very important question to ex-porno goddess La Cicciolina. Where is your dinner? What is it? Chicken or fishy? Fishy. What kind of fishy? Frozen fishy. Is it fried? It is fried, frozen, fishy. You have got a problem? No, 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 Jean-Paul. It sounds delicious. Okay. Bon appétit. He's very sensitive about his cooking. Iona Starla, better known as La Cicciolina, was a name that was on everybody's lips in the 80s. But the Italian porn star's rise to the top had to come to an end, and those heady days are now behind her. Today, she's more likely to be found in a loose-fitting leisure suit, tidying up her stylish home. As the tasteful decor suggests, the days of dirty films like Atomic Orgy and Chocolate Bananas are ancient history. This is a beautiful room. As you can see, there's nothing here to do with pornography, nothing phallic. Nothing that reminds one, shall we say, with the old pornography that I used to do. Cicciolina has been reborn in more ways than one. Today, the only audience she has is with her local priest. My life is like a prism, like a diamond with many different sides to it. I'm now taking my life in a new direction. The days when I used to be a porn star and an MP are finished. It was in 1987 that La Cicciolina gave Italy's parliament a right good kick in the ballots when she was elected as a member of the Love Party. The party leader, Riccardo Schicchi, also used to be her manager. She was like a breath of fresh air when she was elected as a member of parliament. She created a new acceptance for pornography. It was a slap in the face for the moralists in parliament, especially for those who had to sit next to her. La Cicciolina represents an important point in Italian history, a joyous, beautiful and sweet heroine. The story of her life was a little fairy tale that enchanted the whole world. The fairy tale continued when she met, married and mated with the controversial American artist and King of Kitsch, Jeff Koons. The marriage, however, was hardly a bed of roses. From that day on, the problems began. Even on the wedding day itself, we started arguing. Bear in mind, you know, before I met Jeff Koons, I could not speak any English, not one word of it. We even had an interpreter at the wedding, so that when he said, I love you, the interpreter said, I love you in Italian. <laughs> However, not all intercourse needs an interpreter, and they soon produced a baby boy called Ludwig. The couple's relationship quickly crumbled, though, and after they split, Coons took the baby with him to New York. It took a dramatic snatch by Cicciolina to bring her son back to Rome. OK, you. Come on in here. I'm searching you. Cicciolina now lives with a 24-hour security guard to make sure nobody snatches Ludwig again. The custody battle for the baby is currently being fought in the courts. Meanwhile, Cicciolina is spending most of her spare time in the kitchen. Can you tell us what her cooking's like? Oh, something's always cooking in there. You know, she's definitely got room for improvement, but uh, she's slowly getting the hang of it. Um, now and then she cooks steaks and sometimes pasta. But you know, she's Hungarian. She doesn't have that uh, Italian style. La Cicciolina means little cuddly toy, a pet name that will probably confuse her two-year-old son, Ludwig. And although she may seem to be the model of motherhood, she isn't becoming a full-time housewife just yet. In fact, La Cicciolina has started shopping for a new career. I can sing. I got some great songs. I got a great voice, too. I'm not Barbara Streisand, but I can assure you I got a lovely, sweet voice. Her deep, throaty vocals were first heard a few years ago on tender ballads like With You and I Like Dick. And it's now pop rather than porn that turns her on. But as for affairs of the heart, Cicciolina feels she's learnt her lesson. <laughs> I believed in marriage, but at the moment, uh, 
If I am to go by the way that I feel inside, I'll never marry again. Never.